we wanted to bring to you the um, expose by the visionary Alex Jones regarding the polar shift of our planet um, and he did an excellent job as we were able to hear recently uh, about how the the earth is shifting in polarity and by polarity we're talking about the poles of the earth the north and the south pole shifting by a few degrees and the reason why I want to uh, to come before you at this hour is to express to you that the uh, Tampa airport has shifted by 10 degrees over the last couple of months and uh, this was recently discovered in January when flights were unable to land at the scheduled airports according to what their compass reading indicated that the airport had actually moved 10 degrees from where it was a few months earlier and what I want to do here at the Manning Report is to demonstrate that it, uh, what has happened to Tampa Airport has not happened as a result of a polar shift, but because of the BP Gulf, or BP oil, a Gulf oil catastrophe, where millions of gallons of crude oil spewed out of that well over the months that it was open, caused a fissure and a collapse there in the Gulf, and as a result of that, a, a sinkhole took place which affected the actual area of Tampa, Florida. And the thing that people have been able to notice because of flights coming in and compass readings, that the airport has moved by 10 degrees. And we want to prove that it was because of the BP Gulf oil catastrophe that uh, Tampa is, is no longer in the place where it was a year ago. Uh, but the reporters uh, that uh, are reporting on this incident are now stating that, of course, it is because of polarity shift. Now, what Alex Jones has done has demonstrated that we are experiencing a large number of climatologists or climate uh, phenomenons and uh, global geographic phenomenons as well, and those are all well-founded. However, what Fox News has reported is erroneous. However, they did indicate that the airport uh, landing strips had moved by 10 degrees. What they did not report was that the uh, entire city of Tampa has moved by 10 degrees and anyone with half a brain would understand if the airport has moved then all of Tampa and St. Petersburg and in that general area has moved. And the reason why it has moved is because the Gulf Oil, the BP Gulf Oil catastrophe uh, created a sinkhole and when all those millions of gallons of oil that came out of that hole uh, created a vacuum and then thus a sinkhole, it caused the earth to shift. Now, Fox News and others are reporting that it is a polarity or a pole shift, that the North Pole shifted by 10 degrees. That is not true. While the North Pole has shifted and so has the South Pole over recent years, the sh movement of Tampa uh, airport is not due to a polar shift, but due to a creation of a massive sinkhole in the Gulf of Mexico because of the catastrophe of the BP oil spill. And we are going to demonstrate that. And we would want that all concerned American citizens would look into this because it eventually is going to have an effect upon all of us. And the extraction of, uh, of oil from the earth has caused, in years gone by and going forward, uh, many, many earthquakes are going to occur because of the extraction of the fossil fuels or crude oil out of the earth, creating these large sinkholes where literally millions of gallons of oil are taken out of the earth and leaving a, va a vacuum there, which then causes a depression, which causes and oftentimes tectonic shifts of the plates of the earth causing earthquakes and other things. But I want you to listen to the uh, report that was uttered by or issued by Fox News, and they're going to try to spin it. They have to admit that there was a movement of Tampa's airport. And then, of course, people who live in Tampa and St. Pete also had to, their houses had to move as well. It was not just the landing strips. And uh, in listening to this report, you will see that they have verified that the scientists and geologists and others who are uh, reputable in this field has indicated that their movement amount has been 10 degrees. Let's listen to the clip and I'll be right back with some closing comments. 
Well, some rare changes are underway at Tampa International Airport. They have to change the numbers on every runway, and more than 100 signs have to be replaced because of a magnetic shift in the Earth. The runway numbers, which are compass headings, now do not match up with the compass in the cockpit. So, got to change them. The markings are off only a few degrees. It is the North Pole, actually, that's moved ever so slightly, which sounds unusual. Mm -hmm. But Fox 13's Jeremy Campbell is here now to explain that it's very normal, actually. Jeremy? Kelly, it is normal, and even so, this is the first time in at least three decades that the airport has needed to update its runway mapping system, all because the North Pole shifts just a little each year. That means due north on your compass points to a slightly different spot, too. You won't see planes land on TIA's main runway for another week. The view from Sky Fox shows what's happening here instead. All the markings painted for pilots on the runway and taxiways must be changed. They're all about 10 degrees off. It's very important. The pilots identify what runway they're on by looking at their compass. So they must align, the runway has to align number-wise with the compass heading. So it make everything safe and consistent. The misalignment isn't unusual, although it's caused by something that may sound a little strange. The North Pole is drifting as much as 40 miles a year. The drift has caused our runway headings to be uh, ang angled at a different degree on the compass. So we have to make the runway correspond to that degree on the compass. Just because the North Pole is drifting does not mean that we are. In other words, Florida is not going to end up on the other side of the world. No, it's nothing like that at all. What's happening here and what's changing is the Earth's magnetic field. The world's in the same place. It's the magnetic field of, of the Earth actually shifts. The magnetic pole actually moves around uh, several hundred miles. It's always happened and always will. The FAA is working with airports across the country to ensure runways are updated. Over time, almost every airport will have to go through this. So. But don't expect delays. Passengers won't even be able to tell a difference. Although some neighborhoods may hear a little more of this. As flight paths adjust while the airport updates each runway one at a time. Right now in South Tampa, as we now finish that project for next week, then we'll have some other neighborhoods north of the airport that will probably have more effect. I spoke with people in those areas, and sure enough, a few heard the noise today, but it will only last uh, for a few more weeks. The upgrade will wrap up across Tampa Bay by the end of the month. And as you heard, other airports will make the same change. Airports in eastern Florida, well, they made those changes last year. Next year, Atlanta will make the upgrade. It's all a little extra effort to keep things precise. Kelly? Now, as you can very well hear, as this was an audio clip from Fox News uh, issued on the 6th of January, the year 2011, they are acknowledging, but they're also, uh, also trying to state that the reason for the shift was indeed the a polarity shift of the Earth. But wouldn't it stand to reason that if there was a polarity shift, that means all of the Earth shifted and not just Tampa Airport? Wouldn't that stand to reason that Atlanta would have moved and so would have California, Japan, Fiji Islands, and every place else on the planet would have to have been affected, especially by a shift as, as, as large as 10 degrees on, on the scale of measurement. Now, when pilots tried to fly into Tampa Airport, they were discovering that they were off by 10 degrees and missing the, the landing strip, so adjustments had to be made by the tower to get flights coming in from all over the world into Tampa that uh, there had been a shift and they had, did not know exactly why. They're now ascribing the shift to a the shift in the polarity, but that has not taken place. And then they've stated adjustments will be made later uh, along other airports. That's not going to happen either. And the reason why only Tampa Airport was affected by this is because, as you know, Tampa Airport is due west of exactly where the BP Gulf oil catastrophe took place in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. And there's that sinkhole that created the um, shifting of the, the, the attitude, the latitude of the earth, and the altitude of, uh, of Tampa and St. Petersburg. And I would be very cautious if I was living in that area because you know there's a large span, a long span bridge rather between Tampa and St. Petersburg. And I'm convinced 
that the cold weather that we've had this winter is due in part to the BP Gulf oil catastrophe. Now, I don't have the scientific information to back up that statement. Uh, I'm not an astrophysicist, I'm not a geologist, but I do read the tea leaves of our times. And I'm convinced, until otherwise proven, that the weather that we're having, the unusual climatology, and also the unusual rainfall happening in Australia and in Brazil, South America, is a direct result of the sinkhole that was created by the BP Gulf oil catastrophe. And I would urge all Americans to be alarmed at this uh, because our earth could go into a drunken man state by reeling and rocking from the north to the south pole, thusly creating massive earthquakes, landslides, mudslides, and a number of other things that Alex Jones made mention of, of Texas moving to where Japan is at present if our earth begins to wobble because it has lost its balance. Those of you who drive automobiles know that sometimes your car, be it though the tires are circular, can be out of balance. They don't, they don't always rotate in the right balance. So you have to put lead weights on them to make sure they stay balanced and that they rotate smoothly without wobbling. Well, when we take billions of gallons of oil out of the earth, we are creating the earth to wobble. And thusly, we're having the warming of the earth or a colding trend. It doesn't matter and causing the jet stream and El Nino to create for us colder and hotter, more tornadoes and, and rainstorms and, and a number of other catastrophes that uh, we would probably not want to have to experience. Finally, BP Gulf oil catastrophe has created an entire 10 degree movement of the city of Tampa and St. Pete and the surrounding counties. But the world and the government, they don't want you to know this. I'm advising you to check it out. I'm James David Manning, and this is the Manning Report. And uh, that bridge, uh, of course, has shifted as well. And one would question whether or not that bridge is safe at possible. But I would go further to question whether or not any of us in America are safe at present because of the uh, sinkhole that was, was created by the BP Gulf oil catastrophe, that surely anything that can move an airport without an earthquake, and indeed it was a seismic, if you will, event, but it was not an earthquake. But my friends, anything that can move an airport 10 degrees to the west is a major movement of the earth. That means that Orlando, Florida, Georgia, Alabama, and people all over the planet are going to be at some point affected by this, now maybe not in a major way. But what I'd like to say to you is that, first of all, concerned American citizens ought to unite to force a closer study on this uh, event that took place in Tampa with the airport and to see that BP uh, oil company is responsible for creating a catastrophe that I believe many in government and in the media are now trying to cover up and are praying that you are, no, you are not wise to what has taken place. And I would go so far as saying to many of you, if you have old uh, Google Maps of where your house was, if you live in the Tampa, St. Pete area, if you have Google Maps of where your house was, let's say a year ago, uh, the beginning, well, let's go back to the year 2009, 2008 and uh, before the BP Gulf oil spill. If you have Google Maps indicating your house was a, a certain latitude, la latitude and longitude and altitude, which is important as well, you ought to check it now against where it is at present. The new Google Map would indicate if your house has moved. And if it is, if it has moved, then your home is in danger of collapsing or having severe damage to it because its foundation will not be stable. I'm urging citizens, especially those in the Florida area, to make this review of their present status if you live in Tampa or St. Peter or anywhere in that area. But moreover, finally, I'm urging all Americans to be very, people worldwide, not just Americans, to be concerned about the extraction of fossil fuels out of the earth. You cannot take millions of barrels of oil out of wells within the earth 
and not expect some sort of an adjustment in the earth once that oil is extracted. For that oil represents a, a, a part of the balance of the entire earth. And when you've got 5 to 30 million gallons of oil in a place, that consumes a very large lake within the earth. And once that well is dry or on the process to being dried by the extraction of the oil, it's going to create sinkholes or tectonic plate shifts or it's going to create tsunamis or other kinds of events that we see going on. And then finally, let me say this. I have long since taught, I've been the pastor of the Outlaw World Missionary Church, that there is no such thing as global warming. Our earth may very well be warm, and I am not denying that, or getting colder. But it isn't happening because of the carbon dioxide that we are exposing or that we are expelling or exhaling out into the atmosphere and all other living plants and animals doing likewise and creating a, if you will, carbon uh, shell around the earth preventing the sunlight from escaping out once coming in. What is happening in our earth is that we are noticing increased intensity in the molten core of the earth because of the extraction of fuels out of carbon, of, of fossil fuels out of the earth over the past 100 years which has created the tectonic plate shifts and therefore has created an imbalance in the molten the core of the earth, anyway, which is effectively calling it, causing the earth in some big places to get warmer and, of course, is also causing the earth to shift its polarity. Either the North Pole or the South Pole could be shifting to some degree or to many I degrees, creating warmer spots and colder spots. A methane eruption down there. For hours, I mean hours and hours, they had an ROV parked up there. And you could tell vaguely that it was like rumbling or, I don't know, erupting something. And see all these little crack things? I don't know either. <laughs>